what is up you guys we are back today with the neville series and today we have a post called give yourself permission to be deluded so this is so here it goes i think a lot of people new to the teaching struggle with the concept that your imagination your consciousness is the only reality that actually exists including myself when i first started I was afraid of feeling like an idiot if I actually gave myself permission to be deluded and my outer reality didn't match my inner state. But everything around you is only a reflection of your past thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. You were manifesting it all along without realizing it. If there's something you want, the dream job, the happy relationship, more wealth, weight loss, give yourself permission to be deluded by going fully into that state of the person you want to be. You must die to your old self and be reborn to your new self. You cannot look back. That unhappily single, poor, insecure, fill in the blank person is dead. It's over. Bury them and move on. Don't tell anyone what you're trying to manifest or that you're a different person now. As Neville in the Bible instructs, you should pray in secret. Keep it to yourself. Simply look at your life through the eyes of the person you want to be. It's not acting as if, it's more feeling as if and thinking as if. It's never really about the thing we want. It's about that. It's about what that thing says about us. If we're in a committed relationship, it must mean we're loved and worthy. If we are wealthy, it must mean we're secure free and comfortable. If we have a cool job, it must mean that we're interesting, skilled, and confident. If we lose weight, it must mean that we're healthy, attractive, and sexy. All of these feelings you can assume now. Don't wait for your outer reality to prove it to you. You don't look in the mirror and scream at it to change you. It's only a reflection. Ask yourself, are you hurting anyone by being deluded? Is anyone going to judge you or tell you, get real? No one knows about your new self except you. If action is required, it will unfold naturally through the bridge of incidents. You don't have to do anything except to assume the state. The thoughts and feelings of your new self and reject any thoughts or feelings that contradict it. The dominant feelings are the ones expressed so you have to starve your doubts and remain faithful to your new self. The wolf that wins is the one you feed. If the state you want to achieve doesn't feel natural to you, that's where the methods of imagination, visualization, sats, etc. come in. These are only tools to help you. It's not about the methods. It's about who you choose to believe you are. TLDR, you don't manifest what you want. You manifest what you are. Yeah. Yes, sir. Man, this really echoes a lot of the stuff that Vadim Zeeland says in Transurfing. There's a whole part in there where he talks about you don't, you want to, uh, or maybe it's in Tufti the Priestess, his other book. He says you don't want to disturb the other characters in the script. He likens reality to a film role and you are moving along a certain script. You don't want to let the other characters know that you know that you are awake. He calls them other mannequins. They are simply basically like NPCs. They're walking around, blah, 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 but they're asleep in the reality. When you wake up in reality, much like you wake up in a lucid dream and you become aware that you were dreaming, you are become aware that you are in control of this reality. You, you don't let them know that you know, because if you do, that's what he's saying in here. You're not, is anyone going to judge you or tell you, get real? Nobody knows except for you. So keep that to yourself. Take this post, run with it. Give yourself permission to be deluded. And let me know how it goes in the comments below. Give me a like, drop me a comment, hit me with a subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.